Previously on The Potentialists. Everything's a lang different language. Look at the fort! Oh my god! We forgot to rent a car. There's a giant scrape on the back of the car. That wasn't mine. <gasps> that mansion we ended up going to was really nice. I think you just hit the car behind us. No! Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Our next stop was Olympia, where the Olympics actually originated. We're in the ancient Olympian ruins of where the first torch for the Olympics were lit in uh, Greece. It was really hot. I mean, like, like boiling hot. You could feel your skin just sizzle. I felt like a vampire from True Blood or something. It was just hot. I don't think it gets this hot in Miami. To be honest with you, <laughs> at least there's not so much humidity. Really? How often do you walk at uh, 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock in the morning? That's why I'm not to do it. <laughs> on the other side, check them out. We certainly hope the Olympic Games were not during the summer, because these athletes would be passing out. We made it to the torch. There it is. Going to the site of the first Olympic Games. Yeah. It's amazing, you would be so surprised. You guys, what you're about to see, <laughs> you're going to be in shock. Yes. This is the most incredible thing you have ever seen in your entire life. I was imagining a huge coliseum. Are you ready? <laughs> There you go. There it is. For the world to see. Amazing. Yes, yeah, so it was one big open field. I thought it was nice. Alex and Audrey thought it was just rocks. I myself saw the history and I thought it was pretty neat. And when we got there, there was a lot of pillars and stuff on the ground. But to me, it was still interesting. I was able to look at it and imagine that I was there through the Olympia at one time, you know, like running or swimming or... <laughs> I felt I was part of the Olympics. It was pretty cool. Really cool because you got to see all the, you know, Olympic games, where it started, where it began, everything. It's amazing. The columns were about three times the size of my dad. But if you can look behind me, there comes a horse and carriage. Check it out. I don't think I'm going to be coming back to this area. So I'm going to go to the museum. We just got to the museum. We're going to do a really, really, really fast tour. Ticket. You see, I told you this is quick. This is what it looked like in the ancient times. That's the first time in like, Wow. I like that. Oh, no. Ugly. These are all the Greeks that died. And they were made in stone. One thing is looking at it in a book, another thing is seeing it live. Weapons of the ancient Greeks over here. The museum in Olympia had these statues about six feet tall. And here we have, I don't know what she's called. Oh well. Ooh, nice. These people worked out. <gasps> what a tiny little thing. Thank God I wasn't in that era. <laughs> This is the last of the naked people. You see, it's not just one. I'm proving it to you. That was the quickest tour of the museum that you will ever get. So folks, that's all there is to see at the Olympian site. Right outside the museum, there was like this cute little village shop and, and there was this cute little statue and I just, I had, he's so cute. <laughs> I had to buy them. Look how cute that is. You could consider me a shopaholic, I guess. I don't know. I just like bringing back gifts and, and mementos, you know, to, to show my love and appreciation for people. And then I got a bunch of these. These are supposed to be for good luck and, you know, you put them around your house and stuff. So I'm watching you. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. 
and check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Follow World. Feel me?